So, you've created the Human Resources team called Document Reviews, and remember from the previous lessons, we added internal users to the various channels within the, within the team. Now, suppose you wanted someone external, so external to your organization, to collaborate with yourself, with your team, and review the documents. So, in this case scenario, I'm going to show you how you would add an external user to Teams. So, I go to the Human Resources team. And... Um, I then simply click on the three dots for more options. Go to Manage Team. And then it's simply a case of clicking on Add Member. And you just simply start typing the name of the individual, so the external user who you want to have access to your team. So I'm just going to type my sample external user. Notice how the guest appears next to the the username so that's a really good flag it almost it's almost like automatically telling you that this individual isn't within your organization um, but he is an external user and but in this case you just grant him access to the team when you add an external user to a team they will only have access to that team so they won't be able to see any of the other teams within your organization or any of the other files in the other team so bear, just bear that in mind Rest assured that the security model of, of Microsoft Teams is, 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 is extremely efficient. And so you wouldn't need to worry about the fact that an external user would be able to see all the other teams. He will only, he or she will only see the team that he has been added to. So I've typed the name here. I just click, simply click on add. There you have it. You can see he's there as a guest. Click on close. Now, if I was to go back to the human resources general team, um, general channel, you'll see right there it says Tito Tang has added the guest user. Now, he'll only, the guest user will, won't have access to the policies channel because that's a, that's a, um, remember when in the previous lessons we created a, a, an additional level of security for the policy. So I'd have to specifically go into the policy channel and add the external user um, to, in order for him or he or she to see the policy channel. So as things stand now, I've added the guest user and the guest user will be able to see the general and the procedures channel.